And welcome to the ENLTP commentary for the draft. So, so we seem to have quite a quite an interesting selection already uh, underway, with Selkie, Sunny, Rounding being selected, and Rough. Yeah, and we have Phoenix DB here also. Well, hi Phoenix. Yep, our commentators for today are uh, Rob Flagetti, Unplanned, and uh, the newcomer Phoenix. Rob doesn't actually want to commentate. He just said that he'd do it if I doing? did it. And then I said I'd did, I'd do it, so now he has to do it. Sorry, Rob. It's okay. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to bring my expertise e. from being the MVP defender last season. Exactly. Yeah. Should be in it. I I'm going to bring my experience from a third place fuck you and your gasp. Uh, well, you can also bring your saltiness and toxicity as well. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Got him. <laughs> we, we do need the link, though, or else we, we are not going to be able to commentate. It's a, we're already on the YouTube commentary. I think. Yeah, that's, that's behind, but... Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's definitely off to the uh, start. We all predicted uh, it'd be interesting uh, once we get past all the you know all the folks that didn't get selected for minors, such as you know myself and uh, Loje and maybe even Selkie. Has Caro gone to Plymouth Artile for forty-two? Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of players that were unlucky not to go in the Thanks to Sensei. Let's see what he'll be going for. Okay, so Ruff just got Caro for 42, and he was my teammate last season. He's a pretty solid defender. Very interesting. Yeah, he, he left a, a comment in a Reddit thread saying he... Saying he... Yeah, that was probably yeah. it for him, and he didn't want to Then I'm going to go above yeah. 25. So I think we'll like, we expect uh, a, restrict, uh, a rule change see. from the commissioners. Yes, on either Balmier City or Plymouth Artel. Where could he be going? Wait, 30 is, from Balmier. Is his name Arcadius? There we go. Balmier City. Arcadius. Balmier City for 30. Arcadius. Okay. Well, you know, Ruff has uh, seemed to. Uh, Put a, quite a bit of uh, points already with only 28 remaining, so we'll see how, how this goes. Yeah, and on the other hand, we have Sensei OC and uh, how do you say his name? VG's V. I don't VG. know. It's a Dutch name, so. Wait, how do you say it? Mm, I have no idea. Okay. And yeah, the it's... captain of TC Bollywelder who hasn't bid anything yet yep. or hasn't gotten any players yet. It's very interesting to see uh, those that have experience. Uh, really going for the top uh, top tier players. I mean, like there are two players I think in the novice draft this season who 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 were minors last season, Selkie and Loje. So yeah. it'd be interesting. Long we'll Selkie connected. Well, Irish Jesus. Rob, what what does your uh, expert? What are your expert thoughts on Irish Jesus? He he tried to beat me on duel and just couldn't. He had, he had like he was scared of me. He was like backing away the whole time. So you know what? what I mean, he's, he's I know. Irish, let's so not let's not bury the novice talent. <laughs> so, yeah. A lot of us have tried to beat Rob on duel and failed, including myself and Ed and some other people. Well, Irish is a pretty solid pick, I feel, you know, he, uh, he does pretty well on uh, both uh, D and O. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a solid player. Um, Irish Jesus joining TC. See who comes up next. Makes sense, because he did really well in uh, the tryouts uh, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, it's a solid pick. Uh, Which I played in. 
when allows Irish can definitely be the start to a decent team, but you've got to build characters around him. Irish can be a good player in 4v4s if there's a foundation for him to work off of. What position does Irish play? I will check that for you right now. Uh, he's defense. He's D slash O, I think. Yeah, he's D O. But he does quite well, I think, you know, more than D. Yeah, it's kind of like time when time I, whenever I've seen him. I think I've seen him on O, and he, he, he's quite he's quite impressive. He's got jukes. Um, Has anybody been able to beat you, Rob Flaggetti? I think you've gone undefeated in, uh, in I'm, duels. Yes, I'm officially undefeated on duel, and I've recently retired from duel. So uh, <laughs> you're basically the duel champion, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Rob, have you dueled series yet? Our no, streamer. I, I, I've I've dueled <laughs> Dejan. And Adravan. And, uh, You've drew Dejan. They're, they're the cream of the crop. Right, right. And we've got yeah. Dr. Popper up. Um, very solid player. He was one of the best defenders uh, yep. last season in the in ENLTP. Has um, a long standing grudge with Raven. He sure does. Yeah. Look back to the auction, you'll see Dr. Popper could potentially go for a very low price, actually. Getting at 14 with only 7 seconds to go. Back up to 10, 15 by Sensei. I feel a little bit, a uh, little bit insulted that uh, I have not yet been selected for bid. But, uh, it, <laughs> you'll that's you'll okay. get nominated, Cody. Looks yeah. like it's going to be a fight between TC and Ball Street for Popper. Probably got to go with the uh, famous uh, "pick the bear for last" strategy. Now you you'll get auctioned. You won't no. get a snake. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll see about that. As the kids say nowadays, meet me outside. How about that? Stop. Well, Please stop. <laughs> Dodge Popper still going, 21 potentially. Yeah, you'd expect him to be up there as you know, one of the best defenders in the draft backers. It's mostly Sensei OC and uh, VGs who are bidding on him. Right? DC and Ball Street, no, one's really, uh, no one else is really interested in Dodge Popper, they want to save their money. What else comes down further the line? I mean, Dr. Popper is known for his, uh, his uh, interesting raps, I think, so... Yes, but raps don't win games. We're looking for skill here in this auction. People asking if we have kidnapped a child. No, no. just me. Just me. We also um, have to point out that there's a there's been quite a, a you know increase in Irish uh, players coming in. Myself <laughs> being one of them. How's the potato situation over there in Ireland? I will drop kick you. <laughs> no. Anyway, as we've been soon. blabbering on, Sensei Ose is taking Dr. Popper away to Ball Street as his first player. Now we are waiting a nomination from Baltimore <gasps> City. And here we go. Ike Kian. Anybody Ike have any uh, insight he's, into uh, he's Dr. A Popper? Um, Ike Kikin was my teammate last season. Um, he, he has problems with lag sometimes, but when when his connection is good, he's a very good player. He's I would say he's minors quality. Yeah, he's very good. He can play both ends of the field as well. Aiken from Belgium is aiming to play in both positions. He doesn't really know where he's going to stand. He's got an all right ping in both cord and orbit. Let's we'll see how he does. This is Sensei still going for more players as he's got 20 on Ikikikin. Potentially sending him to Ball Street. There we go. Ball Street for 20. Ikikikin from Belgium. Now that I think about it, Balkanen has just reunited uh, Ronding and Alcaeus Alcius from from uh, Turin Balosura last season, right? Oh yeah, yeah. No series though, Rip. Rip, you never know he could get dropped. True. Love you, series. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Big shout out to series. Maybe uh, we'll see uh, Selkie just getting dropped immediately. Series, the, the only player last season to go from novice to majors, and he was drafted in the novice snake. At the moment, we've got Loj going for bet. He's playing for both positions, and he's from the United Kingdom with a very good ping in both cord and orbit. He might yeah. have his exams at some point, so it, 
No. Potentially have inactivity, but there is a very good chance. I've played with him in clubs, and he is a very good player, able to definitely go back and forward down the field. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, we'll see how it goes. He's a Eight third. seconds left. Sensei's got another bid for 20. Sensei's third. trying third. to complete his uh, team up front. Uh, putting 19 in. They both have, I think, uh, the the EU rows to bet uh, to bet on him quite a bit. So we'll see if uh, if uh, it reaches 46, 47. Gasly yeah, so jumping in. That's uh, back to TC. Lojay does indeed have a bald head, but uh, he uh, he's quite a great player. He's quite a meme as well, you know. He is indeed a meme. And yeah. memes win matches. Really yep, cool. that's what we've we've uh, figured out this last uh, mini season. I was drafted last season purely for my memes, and you know, and memes it looks help like you win VJ matches. has uh, taken LoJ for twenty three points. Just listen to Rob Forgetty tanking his draft stock. This is the same guy who was like, <laughs> I can't play offense, and then he caps like a lot. Here we of go, times. sweaty Pete up for bid. Potentially going to no, TC no. for a low price, but see who bets. Another Irish man. Um, he's Irish representing. Season. Yeah. Like, one of my most vivid memories from ENLTP is getting, like, just absolutely wrecked by Sweaty Pete on Iron. He's very jukey. Say that, but it doesn't seem like he's going above 21. It's dropping. Potentially a move to TC. Oh. Wall Street. TC. Same two teams constantly fighting over players, Ball Street and TC Ballybird. Yeah, and Rick Astley has, hasn't bid much, has he? Rick Astley bid, uh, he put in a bid for, um... Bid before this, but didn't get anything over than Selkie. Not really been, he's been biting his time. Yeah. So do you feel a pretty good player all around, I feel, so... Yeah, he he's very he's especially good on offense, I think, more so yeah. than D. Cody, do you intend to play offense or defense? Like just one. Whatever the team needs me. I am a team player. That's fair. Yeah. But uh yeah, you know, I could go for for all. I've been practicing uh D with uh Real Madrid with uh, Kutra and his team. So uh you know, I'm ready for that as well. Bet for Sweaty Pete still going on. Potentially could pass 40. We'll see if it gets up to 50. That's a lot of money. Yeah, Sweaty Pete and was very... Sorry? Yeah, he was very good in uh, tryouts yesterday, so it's not really surprising. And with the money starting to get limited, DC takes Sweaty Pete on for 40, leaving them with just 7. That kind of narrows them out from getting a lot of good players going to be easily outbid. <laughs> However, we'll see how the other teams react to this and try and take players away from TC. Do we have like a stream link? Or are we all on YouTube? Wait, Kodiak, have you not been on that link? Of course I've been on that link. What are you talking about? Gretzky goes for just six. That's, that's a steal six. for TC. TC with just one left. However, they do have four yeah. players, and let's see how this goes. Duke Amal is up. Obviously oh, known for wait. his Dukes. Six, six for Wayne Gretzky is a huge underpay, I think. He won ENLTP last season. Yeah, it's a steal for TC. However, Duke Amal at 10 right now, potentially going to Balmer City if anyone wants to go. Oh, we're going up. I thought Juke Amal was one of the most underrated players on the draft pack. Turtle Cobra is finally fitting a bid on the board, but getting outbid by Plymouth Artel. Juke Amal is a really, really good player. You know, we should see quite a performance from him. A lot of team, a lot of different. Every single team left uh, spaces to go. I've put a bid in for Juke Amal, so let's see who actually comes out on top of this. Up to 19 for Ball Street. Lower. Is anyone going to head bed? Two. One. There we go. Jukamal goes to Ball Street for just 19. We're seeing a Sensei with a pretty uh, solid uh, team here. It's the start of a solid team, but at the end of the day, you've got to, once you've got your full team set up, there is a chemistry you have to have 
to actually be a good team. You can have a team of good players, but it doesn't mean you'll play well together. So we're just awaiting a nomination from Ruff. Still waiting for a nomination from Ruff. There's a lot of other players left that have not been drafted. In the list right now, we've got the Magpie, Fuzzy, Ball I Am. The Magpie has been banned for three months, and he has like somehow signed up. A lot of time remaining on his ban, but like but he's he's really no. good. But if he if he gets banned, what did he get banned for? Good. Oh, here Monte we go. Cristo. Rated two stars on the board. Not our Irishman. We have a message from the commissioner. Uh, there will be a 10 minute break uh, between the auction and the snake draft. Uh, he still has something to set up. Well, that's right. That is life. Uh, Monty Cristo. Four, five, he's eight. A, eight. He's a very good player. He's a teammate of mine as well last season. Uh, he's a How did he play last season? Was he more attacking or defensive? No, he was uh, defense. Um, yeah, he's a good D player. He played a bit of O for you, didn't he, Rob? Um, I, he, like, we, we struggled with players last season, so I think... Ah, oh, I he see. Rick Astley takes Monte Cristo to AC Spartak for I only nine. I definitely think he's a lot better on D, Monte. Yeah. Although, I, I remember a game he did play O, he was pretty impressive. So, he's, oh, uh, I see. For, to pick him up for nine, that's a very good price. Looking at what money the teams have left, AC Spartak with 50, Turtle Cobras with 49. They can still make plays for some good players, outbid everyone else, just having to bet 29 or 30. They'd only have to outbet each other. Now, what comes with that is Turtle Cobras only have one player. That's an underhand. They basically spent half of their money for one player. Yeah. Here we go, Kodiak up for bid, with Ball Cannon placing the first bid. There we go, going for two. How much do you reckon you'll go for? Maybe 10 if I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and are you the only bear in this draft packet? Uh, what? <laughs> Kodiak potentially go here. Kodiak, like on my team, uh, on my novice team last season, the best player was uh, was drafted for two euros. Oh, oh, oh. looks for oh. seven. Ooh, Making some seven. plays here. We might break 10. We just might make it up. <laughs> One. Oh. Oh. There we go. Play my part of Cody for seven. You're on rough steal. team. Nice. Grim. He's a great guy. <laughs> Wait for a nomination from Jerry. Our title will need one more player. Balmir need two. Ball Street needs one. Spartag needs one. PC has got all of their players. And Electro Ball is up for bid with Jerry placing the first bid of zero. Tell me about Electro Ball. Yeah, like. I don't. I don't know. He. I haven't. I haven't really seen much of him. So. Anyone have He's, any intel on Electro Ball? Has he played competitive before? He has, right? I don't I know. I think Ralph Laghetti would know, but I think he would. I, I'm not sure. Um, I could. I only remember seeing him in like pubs and stuff. Yeah, and same. He, he seems to. He seems to be a pretty impressive. Yeah, he's ball, pretty good. Electro Ball from Germany. Average ping on both servers. Let's see, he's wanting to play both positions, which is a very good thing to have in your team, a player that is versatile. However, some people not knowing how good he could be, it's hit or miss. Yeah, Rick Astley seems to really want him. Play. I'm quite happy with uh, Ruff, he's a very good captain and a good blood. Yeah, he is. Right. Also Irish. Electro Ball goes to AC Spartak for just 17. That's AC Spartak only team. needs one player and has 33 left. That's enough money to get a decent player. Like, a very good player. Yeah, like, Selkie is restricted to half of the minutes, isn't he? But... I'd imagine so. Yeah, but they should still be able to make something out of the rest of their picks. With the team starting to fill up, Turtle Cobra only has one player still. This could affect them in the long run with other players yeah. without betting them for better players. Cassie Jerry being a bid. snake, look at this. Is this Katazai? Oh, Katazai. Kata's pretty good. Like, I think yeah. he disappeared last season, though. Like, halfway through the season. And then he I... showed up for playoffs again. Kata is indeed a pretty good player and uh, also French. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the Frenchman, from what I've seen, has been playing in public service quite a lot and has been doing very well in the pubs. However, will his performances in the public carry over as he is now going to be playing for Balmere City? Il est sélectionné pour uh, Balkanet pour uh, 5 points. Bon chance, Kat. Uh, selected him for five <clears throat> five points. Good luck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mojo up for bid. Balmere City trying to get their final player. Bit of one. Sonny Mojo, a pretty decent player Two, all around. Three. Very good offense. Eventually going to Ball Street. Oh no, Jerry's Jerry finally jumping nine. back in. Turtle Cobras might get our new player. I think they they're going for. Uh, they're gonna definitely go for Sonny Mojo. I have to say, I didn't expect this pick. Like, but. It seems that several captains, quite a few, actually think that he's a good pick. Yeah, Balk does have a good team, pretty solid team. Sensei also have a good team. Jerry certainly has a game plan with his picks. He's definitely taking the methodology, methodological. He certainly has an idea of what he wants to go for, basically. Yeah. And he's bidding on specific players, and he's going hard for those players. Leaving Definitely. other ones completely out. We are taking uh, shout outs at this time. Are we though? Are we really? AC Sparta taking Sonny Mojo for 18, leaving them with 15 points. So they're in good Sparta position to uh, both be both. first in the uh, snake draft. Wall Street with 27, Balmere City with 10, and Sonny <clears throat> Bartel with 21. The auction's been paused by Jerry. Wow. So I, I think it's just a. Yeah, just a technical issue. Yes. Ruff has said in stream chat, Kata massive steal. Mm. Yeah, Kat, Kat is, a, is a very good player. Yeah. We have yeah. a shout out to uh, Bob Sagetti, one of the uh, Sagetti brothers. Bob, say. he's uh, he's my long lost um, twin brother. Interesting. Um, origin, <laughs> I think. Have you drilled Bob Sagetti yet, Rob? I haven't. We, we're only allowed to end the same team. If, right. if I join a pub and Bob's playing on the other team, we both just have to quit. <laughs> it's that uh, it's going to be a very interesting uh, snake draft as well. Uh, yeah, and if you remember last season, Zeris went in the yep. snake draft, and now he's playing majors, and he was MVP last season. So there, there's a lot of good players that will go in the snake draft. Yeah, I have I have a few in mind that could be sleepers, <gasps> but. If I say them, they won't be sleepers anymore, will they? I don't know. How do you guys feel about uh, Carol of his team? Well, I did say, like, like I said, he was on my team last season. He's really solid. Like, if he decides to show up, he'll, he'll be a really good defender. All right. Because, like, he made a comment saying that he might not be interested in novice, which you can't blame him because he's been a novice for, like, a few seasons. Cut you both off there. We're awaiting a nomination. Auction paused and started by Jerry. Sunny Mojo Grim. hasn't actually been. Yeah. Now it seems uh, they're gonna rebet on Sunny Mojo, perhaps. Rick Rick had him before it got removed, right? Yeah. Yes. Rick Rick got him for. Law. It seems so. Uh, what are we doing? I think Jerry's lost his mind. Uh, it's well, I official. Think he's trying to get a certain order in. The commission. Uh, Jerry's trying to rig the draft. Yeah, we might have some rigging here by the commission. Oh. Look at Jerry being a snake. <laughs> what a that. snake. The, Wait, mems, mojo. the mems are real, folks. The mems might are have real. been a misclick or something. Okay. We're back, I think. Yeah, we're back 10 on sunny mode. 18, yeah, 19. Actually. They're actually going for 19, 20. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to see Jerry here a bit big. Maybe uh, 25. So now it's going to be Sensei against Rick. Let's yeah. see how this plays out. No, because Jerry might jump in here. Yeah, I get the feeling he's going to jump in. It's a pretty solid player, Sunny. All he has to do is to take it to 34, and that's a guaranteed player. 
obviously if he takes it to 34 he'll actually have no money and well he won't have no money he'll have very little money and have very little advantage over the other teams at the moment with his 49 he's got a good watch fly over the rest of the teams and then he goes sunny mojo goes to ball street for just wow. 26. very solid team yeah, on box behind yeah that team is a very strong team and yeah, they, they spent their euros really well yeah really efficient uh euro spending i feel that uh you know jerry really has to uh start drafting people perhaps yeah like normally in in like uh, an auction draft for majors or so they they say that it's like not such a good idea to wait until the end to use all of your euros I mean, obviously, this is a novice, so I don't know. Obviously, yeah. if all your players are going first in the majors, then obviously you'll want to get the, fir the players that come up first because they'll probably be the better players. And I mean, novice, a lot of players don't fully know or have yeah, the, fully, ex uh, fully have their expectations of how well they'll play or play together. Mm -hmm. In fact, you want to try and build a team of players that you know, and potentially leaving your picks to the end <clears> could <throat> benefit you. THC is up for bid. We're rough making the first bid of zero. Ooh, THC. THC is a good player. THC, uh, bon tarde, THC. He's a uh, Portuguese uh, from Porto area. Very good player. Very solid. Yeah, and he played in uh, he played in ECLTP too, so that's a plus. He was pretty good. Muito bom, as the Portuguese Portuguese. He's going for 10 now. Definitely surpassing. Actually, a move to Balmer City is their final player of the draft. Rough bidding 11 for the HSA. Oh, Rick Astley jumping in. AC Spartak might get their final. 12. Rough jumps in. Plymouth Artel wanting that player. He, oh, we've got a fight between AC and Plymouth. Just Rick for TC. going for 14. Two seconds on the bid. Rough 15. Wait, shout out to Dodds Fall, who's in the stream chat now. I think, think Rough might get him for 15. Oh, 16. Very, quite unexpected a bid for THC. And uh, he gets him for, uh, for 17. Yeah, he's reached uh, Rick Astley's limit, so THC for 17. I think that's a good price. He's that's good. a decent price. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of your team, Cody? Uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of potential. Uh, definitely, there needs to be a lot of work uh, done. We'll see uh, about the uh, snake draft. Uh, I'm just a bit worried about the availability, you know, of this uh, overall team. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, THC does, has had issues in the past. Uh, and, uh, According to you guys, uh, Carol might be uh, problematic as well if uh, you know he chooses not to play on uh, on novice league. So it could, it's a risky pick, but it could pay off. Uh, but you know there are some other strong teams. Oh, B, also known as Borja, also known as uh, Borja one zero nine zero, also known as Magic Pigeon, also known as uh, Dino Cito, also known as what else? I can't remember. He's a he's a good player. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna try and remember half of what you said. <laughs> now, if we're betting on a player like this, he did say that dinner is better than Tag Pro, and we all know that Tag Pro is life. <laughs> he, so, he is how, how 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 reliable will he be if he if he's if he's preferring food over Tag Pro? He, he Let's will be show honest. up. He will show up. He's a very good offender. Like very good offender. Yeah. Yeah, and on plan should know about him. Then. Offenders. Uh, something that we could think about. How many of these players are actually from Europe? And you've got to consider the ping that you have if you're playing from a different part of the world. That could impact your team drastically. Wait, I don't think are any of these Americans. There's there is quite a cup. There is a couple of Americans that could potentially be drafted. Yeah, but have any been drafted yet? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Borja's going for 25, quite, uh, quite impressive. 
Yeah. But uh, it's expected. They're very strong. The only person that can. Oh, Jerry. I Jerry think Rick Astley will go all in for Borja. I. Well, that's my hunch. But oh, oh or is he one. not? Wow. Oh, Jerry. Hmm. Jerry, Jerry has takes him for, for twenty six. I think maybe he's trying to save his uh, EU rules to uh, be a uh, first pick on the yeah. uh, snake draft. So, or maybe even for a trade. However, that leaves Turtle Cobras with twenty three and uh, Rick Astley with thirty three. Rick Astley having. If he spends very little in his next player, he has a very good chance of being number one in this. Yeah, he does. Definitely, there could be some trading going on in between, but uh, we'll see. I mean, not much trading general like goes on in ENLTP, I think, but we'll yeah. see. What's so the future holds? That could change with this season. I mean, it's Jerry's a captain. You never know. Yeah, uh, you you just expect a lot of rotation as well in these teams, since we are just trying to foster talent and try and get, get players. Just uh, AC Spartak, Balmere City, and Turtle Cobras all going for players left. Ball Street, Plymouth, and T are all filled. Where do we think we'll go from here? Who do you think will pick up the next? Who is desperately needing a good good player? Well, I think uh, El Miracle has yet to be picked. Yeah. So it should be an interesting uh, player. Well, I am. Bob Sagari as well, no? Yeah. Like, El Miracle, he joined the same time as I did last se se season, like, and we were both free agents. He's gotten, he's gotten like, a lot better. He's improved a lot. Yeah. It should be interesting. There's some choices. Also not drafted. Um, <gasps> Ball I am. Oh, El yeah. Miracle. Ooh, El Miracle. Oh, yeah. it looks like someone listened to my uh, suggestion. Yeah, I called El Miracle as like one player who is gonna get really good over this season, probably. Yeah. I think Balk really wants him. Anyway. And he's pretty active also, which is always a plus in Novice, because half of your roster will never show up. Mm, that's true. Rick Astley bid him five. Uh, he has the bids. Uh, interesting yeah. bid on, on behalf of Rick Astley, because, uh, you know, I don't know, I feel like uh, there are some other people you could run for. Here's a situation you've run into now. Balmir can basically have to, has to wait and see what comes up. Well, Rick Astley is guaranteed a uh, pick on the snake draft. He has the most EU rules. So yes, but here's the thing though. Balmir said he takes the next player. Jerry has full reign of whatever players he wants. Yeah. Ball, if Balmer so, finishes so their set really right now, very good. So. Ooh, such a nerd. I can't say I expected this. Like, such a nerd was my teammate last season on ENLTP, and he is really good at juking. Very good offender. Let's see. He's a yeah. bit of a sleeper pick, I think, because like, yeah, he hasn't, he's, he's he hasn't been very active lately, so like, lots of captains don't know about him, but he's very good. I used to joke with him last season about him uh, padding my Yeah, here we go. Stats. The sleeper picks. Jerry said it. Sleeper picks are coming out. Such an art for zero. That's. That's. I, I think that's Jerry a has a list in mind. Yeah. Jerry Such knows who he wants. That is a steal. <gasps> So Ooh, Bob Sajetti. Bob Sajetti is a really good player. Well, I mean, it's only up to Jerry now. And he'll go yeah, for zero. Jerry has free reign and he can get both his players for zero, leaving him with 23. Yeah, and second in the snake, too. This is the exact thing that I warned you about when Balmir took their final player for zero. <laughs> it's quite surprising to see Bob go for zero, so. It's surprising for seeing zero, but that's because he was left till the end as a sleeper pick. Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of good players left. Yeah, like, the, the yeah, amount of Yeah, there's good players Euros... left, and Cherry has full reign of them. The amount of euros that a player goes for isn't really reflective of their skill, because like yeah. sometimes if you go earlier or later, it'll inflate or deflate your value. So. See what Cherry pulls out of the bag as his final pick. I'm very interested to see who Jerry picks. He can <laughs> get uh, anyone. Jerry, speed it up. He might go for Hayward. Oh, San 
Saniton's huge, huge sleeper pick. This is a huge pick. I played with Saniton's during region wars, and he is like really good despite not having any competitive experience. Jerry, here we go. We're doing. just waiting for the countdown to end. Teams from this first part of the draft to be finalized, auction to be finalized, and each team to have their four players. AC Spartak will probably be the first pick in. The Shout out to uh, Sam, who has now retired as a commissioner. We wish him the best of luck. Yeah. And uh, we thank him for organizing uh, the last season of uh, ECLTP. I uh, hope he comes back and visits us from time to time. There we go. The auction draft is over, with AC Spartak having Selkie, Monte Cristo, Electro Ball, and El Miracle. Ball Street, run by Sensi, we having Dot Pepper, Ike Kiken, Jukin Mall, and Sunny Mojo. Ball Mirror City by Balkan and Having Ronin, Alkyus, Kata, oh. and such a nerd. Let's see if we can get some interviews from uh, some of the uh, captains and uh, how they feel about the team. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, we'll free, find them. Yeah, can we interview Jerry? Full? Like, people in the stream chat are saying that he has a very stacked team. Let's go to Jerry's channel, though. Let's bring Wait. him here. Yeah, and we THC. have to bring him here. Like, yeah. Jerry's is here. TC Baliverte, having Irish Jesus. Yep. Loa J, Sweaty Pete. And Wayne Gretzky for just six. Um, Turtle Corbas, Jerry is a snake and left his sleeper players to the end. You've got Sonny, B, Bob Segetti, and Sanitins. Like that's a very impressive team that Jerry's managed to. It's draft, an impressive but... team because he came in with he came into the draft with a strategy. The other the other teams were wanting to get their players and make sure they had gotten them. Jerry bided his time and got his sleeper picks, and they were a very very good. Sleeper pick. And he has the second most number of euros left, so he'll have a very good position in the snake. Obviously, so Ruff is, uh, is here with us uh, to give us uh, his opinion. Uh, hey, Ruff, how do you feel about your pick? Hi. Uh, how do I feel about my pick? Um, I mean, this is one guy who is considered a bear by some of the community. I'm a bit skeptical of him, but all of our picks are quite solid, quite solid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was honestly, your uh, strategy uh, going in? Um, my strategy going in uh, was the commissioners took away a bunch of my tag coins or euros, so I was limited in what I could do. I thought, for example, like Ronding would go for far more because he's a very elite player. So like, I wanted to get a defensive player first of all, which is why I got Caro, and then I wanted someone who could complement him well, which is why I went after Kodiak. And then we had tryouts um, yesterday, um, so we had a lot of like uh, new players coming, and THC was there, and his Dukes were like. You know, I'll, I'll let like his Dukes explain themselves during the season, but like, I feel he's got a lot of potential left. CHC, a very uh, solid player. Uh, and uh, we have Jerry here. Jerry, I think he's busy. So, Hello. Uh, I need to flip a coin, because at the end of that snake, Bull Street and TC, I don't know how to pronounce that word, both ended up with one euro. So if it's if it's heads... I'll then... flip it and be unbiased. I'll flip it and be unbiased. Oh, that's a good idea. If it's heads, then Sensei's team will have the pick in front of Tariq's team. If it's tails the other way around. Which is it? So, well, Rob Fogarty will tell you that. Wait, what? Oh, who's flipping the coin? Rob, Phoenixes, we need you to do something important. I, I can flip the coin. Who's flipping? Someone flip. I'll flip the potato. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll flip the coin then. Heads is going to be the uh, 50 cent side, and uh, Tails will be the uh, back of it. So. Go for it. I want to hear it, come on. Now, now as we're flipping the coin, Jerry, I've got to ask. It's uh, Heads. Sorry, Phoenix. We we, we did it without you. Heads, I know. I, I know. Sensei my gets my, the first my sound card decided to kill itself. So, um, why are you such a snake and wait until the end? Was this your, stra <laughs> was this your strategy coming uh, into it, or was I, it something you put up mid through? I wanted to get Sanatins and Bob Sketty the entire draft. Like, they were my draft. So, so it was a strategy. You came into the I, draft I looking specific, for that. I specifically didn't want to nominate them because I didn't want anyone else getting interested in them. I wanted mm. to keep them quiet and then just pick them up for zero at the end. It's a steal. Like, now, how do you think, now, how do you think they will connect with the rest of your team? Mm, I don't know. It, the snake's going to be different, I think. Are, are, you, are you expecting them to, you know, just go... Two man, two man army, or are you expecting to actually mesh well with your team? I mean, like they are a two man, they're, they're two one man armies to be honest. Um, but they're yeah, also but team that, players. That being said, that it's... being said, two one man armies, that's not as good as a two man army. 
Those <laughs> it's, it's, tw- it's twice as many armies, though. It's tough, isn't it? True. Yeah, but there's the thing, though. Two man army actually works together. Two one man armies can get distracted and have their own agendas, and therefore lose the match because of their own greed. Mm. You could be you could be on something there, Phoenix. But actually, you've got to realize who can mesh you your team. Does that mean I'm going to need to draft you later on just to make sure I have the right strategy going into the season? Yes. Cool. <laughs> I hear Bob Segetti is totally to be the Rob Segetti of this season. Of some Absolutely. people have said. Uh, I've got you here, Terry. Which team are you most scared of going against? Oof. Um... Uh, three on, three's team looks quite strong. Are you? Um, ah, we have Sen- Sensei's team as well. I, I really wanted Sunny Mojo, but I didn't. I couldn't or bid it. high enough on him. Yeah. and know that I could get the others, which was the problem, really. Okay. Uh, Balk, how do you feel about your pick? You seem to have a pretty solid team. Uh, you feeling good? I'm feeling good. Thanks for asking. Very good. Uh, what a uh, what are your thoughts? Can you elaborate a little bit, a bit more? No, I can't. All right, thanks, Bok. Classic Bok. No problem. Hello. That's a, how are we doing? Good, good. How do you feel happy. about your team? Yeah, I'm very happy with my team. <laughs> who, who, do you, who do you think will be the star player in your team? The star player? Oh, uh, I think... You, looking at your team just now, you spent the most money on Dr. Popper yeah, and the I least think... money on Duke of Maul. Duke of Maul, known for his Dukes. Where yeah, do you feel uh, they'll fit in with your team? Says he's not one of us. I think those four are very big. I don't know. Um, I don't know yet. I mean, Snake Trail has to come, and I don't know who I will get. So we'll see. I think those four are very big, and they're going to smash the NLTP. So I did a very good job. Thank you, thank you. Same question that I had for Jerry. Which team are you most scared against against playing? Jerry's Jerry has team. left the channel. Yeah. Grim. <laughs> I know I wasn't asking Jerry the question. I was referencing a Oh, okay. Hi, Ninja Bot. This is a commentary and we're on stream right now. Yes. <laughs> so, you know. For anyone that's out of the loop, Ninja Bot is currently chatting in the channel that we're in. Also, I want to, I want to thank Rick for um, redoing the nominee and draft from Sunny Mojo. We're very thank you, thankful for him. So yeah, Rick, if you rewatch this or something, I don't know. <laughs> thank you. I'll pass on uh, your thanks to him, Sensei, as his teammate. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm planned. All right, with a lot of players left for the Snake Draft, is now that we've got some coaches in here, is there anyone specific that you're wanting to go for? Got in mind? A couple of names, perhaps? I don't think he's going to say that because, uh, you know, that's. Oh, no, I know, give, but I want to see if he's looking for more offensive, more defensive. I'm going for boost his strat. Boost ball. I'm specifically looking for players that use WASD keys. If they use our keys, they can go home. <laughs> <coughs> Me. Grim rough, and I wanted you to draft me. I guess that dream is dead. <laughs> Please, arrow keys. I I could I don't think I could actually play with arrow keys. <laughs> I, I've used WSD since I started. Well, am I the only one? Yeah. Okay. Well, I suppose because you're a little kid, you're used to arrow keys. <laughs> That's fair. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> As we know, no shade, it's, uh, no, it's shade, my, no shade, no shade. My my third birthday is coming up soon. I'll be uh, three years old. Very Great. proud of it. <laughs> so there's still quite a bit of picks. The uh, interesting oh, picks older, left in the uh, draft. Mike C. Is we have Mike C. with us. In the house. Mike C. Mike, are you going to commentate? And uh, hello, Rick. I think it's been a great draft so far. Some, some top talent drafts of all the teams. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, who goes next. I love you too. <laughs> Rick, thank you, by the way. Oh, Snake is, uh, Snake Rose is ready to go, okay. okay. So I think we could, uh, we could see Fro- Frost, uh, Dijon, uh, 
some of the other folks, Bayward, Phoenix, uh, getting uh, selected. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I reckon so. Kind of your top talent, especially at this sort of level. Yeah. Everyone gets Tag drafted. Tag Noob yet to be selected. It's very interesting. I, I mean, everyone is going to get drafted because it's novice. But... Yeah. yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be the, I'll be the fat kid in gym club. Jerry, Mike, that you... was the only way I made it into a novice team. Jerry has to update the, the uh, draft. Yeah, hey, your mind now. Yep. I think in this game of tag pro, we're all the fat kid in gym class. What? Except Logie, he's the bald kid. I missed up. Wow. I missed up. What did you say? I think in the game of tag pro, we're all that fat kid in gym class. Lots of shout out to Mike C, uh, commentary um, master. Shout out to Noob. Yeah, shout out to Noob. Can I shout out to Unicode also? You just did. Uh, I guess shout out to Edward. Bring back Unicode. Shout out to Rule Changes. Oh, shout yeah. out to uh, Loopholes. Uh, quite a bit of drama this season. <laughs> shout out to Sam. Shout out to Snaky yeah, Commissioners. Shout out to Lenny, as Noob has requested in the stream chat. Shout out to not going outside all day and playing tag, bro. I might not commentate the second half, unfortunately, as uh, I will be eating my food. That's for life. Dinner comes before tag, bro. Exactly. That is the uh, age-old maxim. Thank you, Electro Ball. Shout out to Phoenix. Shout out to Edvard. He hasn't gone yet in this draft. Hopefully, someone will pick him. Yeah, hopefully, some captain will take pity on Edvard and draft him. Yeah. Shout out to Ninja the Bot. There is a lot of, kind of top t level talent left. Obviously, it's the uh, number of teams are looking really good so far. But then, there's still a couple of two and a half and two star players out there. So, a lot of uh, good players out there for captains still to get. Hmm. Doesn't involve not being. Ozzy being an American, while I am being, well, not from the United Kingdom, he's recently moved to the United Kingdom, he's a f former NLTP player. It's also interesting to see how much captains choose sort of bigger known names over potential talent. Would you say that they're doing that? Yes and no. But I mean, some of the captains obviously are, but like, others are really going for the sleeper picks. Yeah, a lot sure. of all of the captains really have their picks that they have in mind. However, one thing that you've got to realize, you can potentially grow players through the league. Absolutely. Picking, picking a lower rated player now, there is time to develop and improve. I think with these uh, sleeper picks, you're always trying to find that ace in the hole, that hidden diamond, that rough gem you can shine up and get into a star majors player. But then you don't want to draft a uh, bust. You never want to get some sort of uh, loose cannon who's going to disrupt your team. I want to make but sure think... it's someone that you can develop. Yeah. I was going to try and get some. However, to find. Comes okay. to um, players that you got to develop. That could be all when and when. You could find players that could be developed. However, you've got to have someone that can develop them and help them learn. Hey, hey, Mike C. Hey, nice to you, did Jonas. I'm going to pick Fuzzy with my pick. That's a great pick. Tell us a little about Fuzzy. Uh, he's an American. I've heard he's a great guy. He's available, which is good for Americans. You don't and, know much about him, do you? Pre pretty experienced. No, I've talked to, well, I think I talked to him briefly once. Um, and okay, I, okay. I PM'd him. I think he's going he's gonna to bring something special to the table. Jerry, you're not intending to replicate Chuck's uh, strategy last season of winning using Americans, are you? Mm, don't be silly. I'm, uh, yes, a little bit. I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've only got one more lined up, though, so who knows? Maybe the, he'll the, the other ones are the Irish, because that's all there is in this. 
Anyway, Bulk's pick now. Let's see who he goes with. I feel like he's going to go for Bayhard. Or Bayward or whatever. Yeah, so. Bayward. I think he's pretty good. I've seen him a lot. Yeah. He's a good poker, I think. Are we even going for uh, Bob Sagetti now? Uh, it seems the uh, draft packet has been fucked up. Oh yeah, I can't see anything now. Rip. Yeah, the draft packet is a very heavy Excel spreadsheet. I'm sure we'll be back with us shortly. Once a couple of things are sorted out, you can just uh, please hold. So uh, when, 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 when exactly did the draft packet break? About like uh, two minutes. Ago. Was uh, it before we started the snake draft? No, no, after after Fuzzy got picked. Around the time Fuzzy got picked. Yeah. We have got some uh, technical difficulties, so we'll hand you over to Anvers for his advert break. Anvers, take it away. Do you, do you want a real advert? Or yes. Oh, so, make one up. I literally can't advertise the fast food trend. I was literally, I was just at. And tell me more about it. <clears throat> so, it's in Bitola, if you're ever in this city, beautiful city. It's across the pass road that's lower down in the this lower down in the city. It's called Meat Master. They sell all kinds of foods. Um, such as salads, cafe sandwiches probably. It's, it's so it's, meat. Cafe is spelled wrong. There's two F's, there's one E. I don't oh. know what the fuck's happening. You're not selling it well. I'm really not. Tell me about Go the amazing it. meats. Did you sample their meat? I did sample their meat. How it was much very, meat do you have? A lot of meat. Was it juicy? It was very juicy. Unverse, tell us more about your uh, shampoo commercial. Um, it's coming out in two weeks, and yeah, because I'm worth it. Bye. And uh, this was. Uh, Jesus Christ, Mike just left. I need to go study as well. God damn it, Mike. Oh, thank you, Anvers. Uh, I mean, uh, I can I can stay for like a few more minutes, but I'll have to eventually go. No, nah, you can leave if you, if you want. So uh, I fixed it, everyone. Thank you, Jerry. It turns out that because Bull I Am has dots in his name, it made some of the Excel code into a thing it wasn't supposed to be. Um, Excel code. <laughs> what? I, I don't know how this works. I, like these, I didn't make these sheets. I am flying. I'm standing on the wing of a plane here, and it's flying quickly towards the ground. So um, this. Just this huge arms. sleeper pick is the cause of the draft packet breaking. The draft packet will no longer be broken, but I also can't highlight Bull I Am as having been picked. So yeah, just the, pretend that he's been picked. The draft packet only shows, doesn't show the people that have been fixed. Is there a way you can uh, revert it to, uh, to its it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't show what, sorry? It doesn't show... Well, no, now it's in. Now it's in again. It's there in. we go. Okay, cool. Uh, shout out to my wife. Uh, she uh, she's the best. <clears throat> yeah, shout out to her. Oh. Is she listening or something? Uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> we have way too many unnies flickettis over here. Yeah. Bring on the bias. Try hard. Yeah, the try hard. Shout As out to my own team. I'm gonna uh, put in a shout out for Tag Noob who has not been drafted yet. And it's gonna be huge. Wait, wait, it well is. Then he has shoot availability. No, better than you has shoot availability. Ew, I mixed them up. Okay, someone draft tag me. He's good. That is my place for y'all. Hello. Get out, Bulk. I'm not even sure. Are you a captain? What, what are you doing here? I am. Are you? I don't know. Oh, why not? Humbers, well, huh? no. are you gonna be traded? Is this a. I mean, I'm just going to be dropped. That's, that's I, the end of my season. I, I'm not getting traded, I'm just dropped. I, that's pretty sad. Hello? Maybe uh, they should trade you sad. for me. Mm, that's a good idea. Yes. Yeah, I can still get dropped, though. It doesn't really Hello? matter. Oh, great. Okay, Bulk. Go on. I pick B. Fraser. 
Brave oh. Fraser, that's a good pick, Paul. Oh, Brendan Fraser. His, his name is Brendan Fraser. He's an actor that's dead right now. He's not dead, but... Mm. No. His career is kind of over. He's, uh, yeah, exactly. He's dead as in his career is dead. He's very dead inside if you look look up pictures of him right now. His much wife just like, completely uh, screwed him over. Much like uh, your own solo on verse now. Dead inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's always kind of dead. Sad. Um, I'm going to unsuppress Shola. Yo. Hello, Shola. Also known as uh, Rick Astley's vice captain. I am. Uh, mm -hmm. Who's a famous assistant manager? Rick Astley's offense there, There's coach. no famous assistant managers. <laughs> assistant mm. manager. What are you talking about? Like, last season, Kodiak, famous co-captain of Bunny's Flagettis. That was Go a last season, that was a mini-season. Oh, Jack. that's true. That doesn't count. Last mini season. Grim. Okay, go on with your pick, Shola. If you're picking, I'm not sure, quite sure why you're here. Uh, I'm just commentating. Shola oh. is not a captain, Anvers. Anvers, please get with the program. <laughs> I, I, I don't have the best analysis right now. I'm sorry. Anvers, oh my god. Yeah. Come on. Making us look like amateurs. Hello, Captain Ruff. Uh. <laughs> That's Captain, rough. Captain Ruff in the room. Right, uh, poor, poor, is it my pick rough. now? Please tell me it's my pick, so I'm not here just like revealing someone I want to. I literally just came back from... It is, no uh, it is indeed your pick. Uh, and... Okay. Uh, with that pick, I select the young Deutsche Ball Troupe. Troupe. Very interesting wait, pick. It, wait, it's Troupe, not Troupe? It's Troupe. Oh, uh, well, you know, troupe. we have a casual oh, relationship. Troupe, Troupe. He was on my team last season. Sleeper. Definitely. Thank you for your pick, Ruff. Corporal Ruff. General, I don't know what you want to be called. I ask. Wait, have has he PM'd Jerry his pick? I have no idea. Because if Is he Jerry hasn't, then his? Jerry doesn't actually know about it. Rip. Jerry. Okay, there we go. There we go. He's on the sheet now. Okay, sound. You can go, Jerry. Who's the next captain? Sensei Ozzy. Sound. Um. Yeah. Wait. Let me look up the lot. The rosters. Does anyone have like a stream link or like anything that I can look at? Nah. Oh shit. I can't do my top-notch analysis when I literally don't know what's happening. Thank you. Wait, uh, is this a s this is not an auction, right? It's just a snake. Snake. Oh, snake okay, cool. We have Sensei OC picking now. Okay. Oh, Ruff had to pick Ruff, that's rough. Hello, Sensei. We'll see. Hey, Sense. Hey, Captain. Captain. Is, is he unmuted? He's not unmuted. He. Fuck. He's suppressed. Hey, boys. Okay, you can talk. I'm going to take Grab Machine. Are you going to grab him from your team? Grab the machine and just. I don't know. Do something like that. Oh, he was mentioned as a sleeper pick in that thread I made. This was fake. As a what? As a sleeper pick. <laughs> oh, that. Well, is he sleeping all the time? Yeah, no, he's just kind of lazy. He doesn't really too much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's not really. Yeah. Oh god, everyone's like fucking beyond me now. Oh my god, I have to change the ACL because Jerry. Uh. So what do you guys uh, think about the uh, snake trap so far? I wanted to be Fraser. Bulk. You fuck. Nah, 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 nah. 
mate. We're on you stream. Please uh, refrain <laughs> from uh, the vulgar words. Coarse language. You bulk. No. Wait. A little bulk and an end in there. Bulk. Maybe maybe we could do some trade. No. I wanted beef raisin. Ooh. No. Um, you don't want to trade. Guys, we're on stream. Just this is some insane back and forth, real drama, right Let here, you boys. <clears throat> what does that rule say about no trades during the draft? Yeah, oh, there's a. Uh, this could fall under draft manipulation. Just to let you. I, I, I don't think it does. Yeah, bulk. We will discuss it after. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back. Anyway, next we're waiting on Vigeza, who's picked Boo and Q42. And I'm very late to that because I just saw it on stream. Yeah, we. we Wait, no, what? Oh, well, they're. They're it's gone. What's happened? Oh, I'm confused. Anyway, who do you think has the best team right now? Mm. I'm honestly going to have to say Jerry just because of how well he drafted in the auction. Yeah, Jerry has a pretty solid team. I think Balk, you know, has a solid team. Sensei. Oh yeah, Balk has a very strong team. However, you've got to remember the only reason that Jerry has a team that he has is he got his the final two players of the auction for absolute. Holy yeah. shit! Wait, what? Are you Phoenix? Oh, so, yeah, I'm Phoenix. So, final two drafts and um, the final two players that um, Jerry took in the auction basically handed them. Because everyone else had got their players first, leaving Jerry to get his um, sleeper picks straight in, and he made some fantastic sleeper picks of Bog Sugeri and um, Sanitans. So he could have a good team there. It time will tell how well his players play together, but he does have very, very good players sitting on his team, just whether anyway, they mesh or not. Anyway, I'm going to cut you off completely. Um, I think Vigeza has Vieze has picked Boo and Q42. You Boo can go really on if good. you want. I've seen him around in pubs. Like he for someone without competitive experience, I mean. So what is Phoenix. happening? Okay, no. Okay, those are the picks. Yeah, it's legit this time. Yep, there we go. Vieza has picked Boo and Q42 for realsies. You can go on with your analysis. I'm sorry. You're doing a great job on yours. I, I am the Dusk host right now. Thank you. Anyway, Ruff is here to not make his pick because he's not... Oh, fuck. Froze got picked by Sensei. I'm dumb. It's your pick now, Ruff. Time to finalize the ninth pick of the snake draft. Second pick for Plymouth Artel. So, looking at the teams that we've got so far, who do you think will be the big collisions, the teams that will have a hard time going against each other? Okay, Ruff has picked Ego. It's, it's going to be on the sheet sometime soon. I, th I think you have to PM Jerry, rough. I'm not quite sure how this works at TBH. Oh yeah, Jerry's the one who's in charge of the sheet. So if rough doesn't PM, it doesn't go okay, on the yeah. sheet. Yeah, the, they have picked Ego. Anyway, building on what Phoenix said, I'm not quite sure who I'll have. Um, hmm, nah, it, it's fuck. very hard to say in novice, isn't it? Yeah, I'm like, trying. I'm so trying to like. Players. I'm trying to like visualize what the fuck the teams are gonna play at like. It's hard. Better you're struggling with that. Let's talk about Ego. He's from the United States and has an incredibly shit ping. Mostly <laughs> defensive more than defensive. Has a microphone. That's some beautiful analysis. That'll no, be that is some beautiful analysis. <laughs> no, no, oh my god! I thought. Shit ping just got me. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> the analysis more now, offensive please. than defensive, and Ego he has a microphone that will help. Ego was on my team last season. Uh, we won the Europa Cup with Ego playing. He's a very yeah. Well, there so, you go. Isn't some... he? He's in majors in MLTP, isn't he? 
Um, yeah, Ego. <clears throat> yeah, like he's Ego a major the... player, and the only analysis we can give is he has shit ping. I love. I mean, I, I, I well, was well, about it's... to give analysis, but you cut me off completely. Ping, his ping's noted at the moment is um over one thirty one on both servers. So take it as you will. Yeah, Ego. Ego lives on the west coast. He used to be, um, I think, an all-star minors player back in MLTP. He's probably playing majors now. He is a cool guy, and it, yeah, he is a strong player on off on offense, especially one Jesus more, Christ. One strong. more thing to um, remember: him being from the United States, time difference between games, it, what could impact his availability. So, as much as he is a good, he could be a good player. Got to kind of wait and see what you can get from. Yeah. Anyway, Balk has picked Foo Foul. Phew. Some, some, probably one of those three is the right pronunciation. Apparently, he's really good, but he might not show up. So Wu. Oh yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like Wu showed up for one week and then never came again. What was up with that? I don't know. He like, I put him on for like one half. He got like four caps. I was happy. He left. <laughs> Classic. Classic. But Fao is actually from Belgium and wants to play offensive. Has a microphone, so it'll be easier for him to uh, communicate with Wait, his team. Wait, Jerry has picked Jensen. <laughs> That's a heavy pick. Heavy Jensen. Pick. Oh, American. That... American. The quick, yeah, the quick deal of Jensen. technique. Here we go. Jensen. Jensen has played MLTP since season one. He has two MLTP championships, as far as I know. But, but this is a very huge but. Since he got those two championships, it's just been a whole fucking gradual, just the downhill struggle. He is currently playing NLTP, as far as I know. It's just been going down and down. Although he did play um, ELTP in Season 3 and was very dominant on offense, well, along with Sheldon, who later got to the final in Season 4. Well, coming across to the Novice League in Europe, he wants to play in both positions. He's flexible. But he's only available on a Monday, a Tuesday after 7 GMT and a Thursday. You're very limited when it comes to that. Yeah. In the yeah, stream I... chat, we have Edvard calling Tagnoob as a 14th pick, so Jerry's next pick. Watch this. You couldn't have said it. Uh, one second. My team's calling for me. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Right. Goodbye. I need to look through the remaining players that we've got. Hello. Hello, Rick. How are we doing? I'm here for my picks. And what would your pick be? So I'm picking Bayward. Bayward. Yeah. Bayward is being picked. I think you have to message Sherry, perhaps. Uh, or maybe he's listening to the stream. Oh, the stream. So Bayward and then Tagnob. Oh, Bay hey, uh, what? E Hayward. Present. Yeah. Not be easy not being picked yet. Uh, make sure you do message Jerry your picks. Um, with yeah, okay. the le with the league being very close to uh, B Hayward's exams, and he's from the United Kingdom, decent ping. Tag Pro won't be his priority, which could affect your team's choices and how you could pick who plays when and where. Yeah, I will see. So, So we're down to the 14th pick. Uh, it's Jerry's turn to pick. Uh, let's see uh, about how many more players we have to go.
have about about maybe 15 to 20 players left to pick. Some interesting uh some interesting picks still remain. Is anyone having trouble with the uh, draft roster? With the draft pack? Hmm. Oh, well, it's working for me. Well, we still have Dijon to be picked. Uh, quite surprising, he hasn't picked uh, been picked yet. Of course, Dijon, uh, one of the most, uh, I would say, toxic players. That's the thing, though. If you have toxic players on your team, that could affect your entire team's performance. Of them being a distraction, potentially. Yeah. It could be, but uh, I think he's a he's an okay player. And that's this thing though. You've got to have a balance. So if you do have players which will cause issues for other teammates, that player is then got more of a load on their back to actually put on a better performance. If you if players are toxic, you've got to make sure they are talented and worth the sacrifice. Apologize on behalf of the ENLTP. Yeah. We're waiting on Balk uh, to choose. Uh, not sure what's going on. Balk, representing Baltimore City, is supposed to be making the next pick, the 15th pick. Potentially, there's a lot of potential in the remaining draft picks. Ever. A lot of good players have already gone. Looking at Bob Sagetti, third in there, served was a steal. THC, Sonny Mojo, Wayne Gretzky that went for just a lot of good players have already been taken to the other teams. Yep. Shout out to the uh, people watching the stream. Thank you for being with people us. People watching the stream at the moment. Yeah, forty-three. For those that haven't then um, I'm not sure if you're lagging or I'm lagging. I don't know what's happening. I think you're lagging a bit, mate. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Oh well Bonk picked uh Juke though. <clears throat> Rough is uh 
Uh, Ruff is up to pick, uh, 16th uh, pick. Some banter. Uh, interesting. Now it's just, I think, uh, going through the draft packet, taking a look, and uh, hoping you pick someone that is uh, is going to show up and uh, I'll actually put in the work. has half a brain, you know? I have half a brain, but a lot of potential to be lazy and brain with your team and not create the chemistry that's needed for a league winning team. Yeah, but I mean, it's very important to try and draft people that are available, even if they're a bit toxic. Uh, if you, you know, have uh, toxic players, it's at least better than having no team. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, moreover, uh, still, the pin connection for a uh, some of the remaining players is uh, quite grim. So we'll see how that goes. Sensei's turn to pick. Uh, pick 17. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we're going to see uh Let's we'll see how this progresses. It's progressing slowly, I don't know why. I mean, there's not a lot of people left to choose from. So, uh, <clears throat> seems they're really taking their time. You're more than welcome to stop by the streaming room and maybe uh, give us your thoughts on the uh, whole snake Makes stuff. Sense. Heck. And uh, Sensei picks Nuga. I've played with Nuga before. He seems okay. Nuga from Australia with a ping of 80, 81 to 90, roughly on both servers. Doesn't have a microphone, so it'll be type chat for him communicating with his team, which could cause delays. He's going to be playing defense. So, how yeah, that goes. With a high ping, it's very difficult. But to, and when you're playing defense, you've got to be able to keep track of because that can come up from all angles. And uh, Veja Pete Scaney. And Phoenix, congrats. Hey, got drafted. Surprised, but got drafted. Picked uh, 18, not too shabby, for Pleasure someone that for just it. started playing yesterday. Play for TC in my first ever competitive league. Also, thank you, uh, thank you for commentating uh, as well for the first time. Uh, you should eat uh, more active members, uh, new members that come in and start playing, such as yourself. Happy to continue doing what I do. Tag Pro is really, you know. A game that depends on its player base, so the more players we get, you know, the more we moving expand on, on the player on base, me. it's um, going to be a lot uh, a lot better. The other pick by TC, um, Kaney, uh, was uh, drafted number 19 in the Snake draft. Yep. <clears throat> he is from the United Kingdom, good ping, and wants to play both positions. Be sure versatile, to tell... Potentially versatile player. Be sure to tell your, your, your mama, your dada, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friend, your your priest, uh, to uh, check out Tag Pro. Tell everyone. It's a really fun game. For the uh, the twentieth number. Twentieth yeah, number draft. Pick number twenty. We're almost. Uh, I'd say we're almost done. Still, Currently. some players left. 
It's about 18 players left. 20 players. 20. That's a lie. Or 11, 11 players? No, no, it's a... Uh, about 17 players left. Well, I mean, your rabbi or, you know, your Ayman or whatever, just anyone. Some random guy down the street. Tell that homeless man down the road that you're finally going to make it. Dedicate yeah. it to him. Buy that man a better cardboard box. The money that you won't win from this damn season. I'm going to give a quick uh, shout out to the European Union. Thank you. Uh, thank you for existing. Shout out to Theresa May for being an absolute f And uh, pick number 20 is Aaron. A A R O N. A A R O N. He wants to play more offensive, but can play defensive. He's from the United States. Else is there more to. Also, shout out to Skynet. All oh, hail Skynet, our new master. The uh, rough the uh, manager of Plymouth Artile actually paid his um 20, the 21st pick. He uh, selected to bring on Muzza onto the team from the United Kingdom. Wants to play both positions. Potentially versatile player. Um, available from the end of April into May. Does have an exam in May though, so... There is a very slight chance you'll get one game missing from him, but he does seem like he'll be a reliable player. Awaiting Balmer City's um, perhaps the, 20, uh, the twenty-second overall. Wondering if you're like um, Jimmy from South Park, struggling. Uh, we'll see if uh, Balkan uh, speeds uh, speeds up a little because he's uh, being quite uh, quite a snail. Where the delays are because a lot of the um, captains didn't actually have um, plans for the draft, so they weren't able to fully have the advantage that they would like to fully draft who they want. I know Ruff had a plan, and uh, I think someone else came up with a plan. So uh, some of I'm them. Sure, did. I'm sure a couple did, but yeah, some, did some. some serious... And there we go. Balkans made his um. Second draft pick. France. Um, available in the evening. Not bad. Uh, ping on cord. High-ish ping on orbit. Plays both positions. Has a microphone, so it'll be easy to communicate with other players. Be a potentially good member of the team. Yeah. Jerry has picked the Big Mac. Spinning up a, a little bit here, we'll see if we can be you, done you can, by... You can tell who's got the plans and who doesn't. Yeah, before 10 o'clock, perhaps. And the Big Mac wants to play in defense from the United Kingdom, but has a very, very, very high ping in cord and orbit, despite living in the UK. Hi again. Hello. How's, How's it going, going, Rick? Yeah, it's going well. I'm oh. going to draft. Jerry, you here? Yeah, man. No, no, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a draft. I'll draft uh, Brazuka and Anand Ball. Good picks. Good picks. I wanted both of them, actually. And I'm going to I'm gonna need to think about my next pick. Luca yeah. from Good Spain. Luck. Medium, medium ping in both servers. Has a microphone, so easy communication. Wants to play more defense than offense. And NN Ball, same again. Could potentially be a good pair. NN Ball being from Portugal with the same rough ping as Brazuca. Uh, Seems quite a bit of the commentators have also built on this. Really sad. Low energy. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's gone. It was busy earlier and then left to die but dealing with me. Let's pass uh, on plans uh, bedtime. And then so. um, Jerry, who's actually for the 26th draft pick of the Snake Draft, has uh, drafted the other Phoenix from Jordan. 
Very interesting. Defensive player has a microphone, can talk to you. Um, he's been a long time, long time player in the public rooms. Uh, as we await Baltimore City's twenty seventh pick, quite a lot of picks going into this draft. And there's a lot of people remaining. Well, I say yeah. a lot of people. There's a solid fifteen twenty players left. Some folks. Uh... Quite a bit of folks signed up, which uh, makes the season more interesting. Bob thinking about his 27 pick. As much as you, just as you do need, you want to make sure you have the correct players. Just a handful. Good mesh with your team. Of players left. The down at the lower end of the board, you've got Boostbot, Duck, Dandor, Oboro, some human. There is a range. Of players left. I'm surprised Dijon hasn't been picked. Must not have been. No oh, well. Still waiting on Balk. Balk and Ende, more like slow Balk. I had to try for that one. Yeah, it's impossible. currently watching this stream we want to hear from you how do you feel that the teams are shaping up now favorites and who do you think is going to come in last place on the teams and Got Balmir City has picked Squeeb and Lemon Fartel has picked Dave Roll. Dave Roll from the United Kingdom wants to play more offensive than defensive. Better ping on orbit than cord, that's expected. And then. Um, yeah, it's very. Uh, we're coming to an end now. Jerry has added for a couple more places, but. That's Dejan 99 actually being picked by yeah. Wall Street. Dejan has finally been picked by uh, Aussie. Let's see who we've got. Life, you've got Wiener, some human, Chaos. Could be interesting. I'm not I sure there's actually the 42 players or the We'll make it to 42. Doesn't, doesn't matter if we get it to 42 or not, we'll take all remaining players. This is an obvious league, all players will get drafted. TC has made their 30th pick, SP Covila. From Portugal, not a bad ping. Might not have his computer at all times because he does share it with his uh, brother. Wants to play more defense and offensive. It's very, very... It could be go either way with him. Don't really know if he'll be able to show up or not because of the restriction that he has. Um, and the 31st pick by TC is Some Human. Very Some Human from Romania. All right ping in both Cord and Orbit. 
and wants to play more offensive than defensive. But a lot of these players are going for a good mix of people that want to play more than one, like more than one position. A lot of players are unorthodox and can go either way. Some having slight preferences, very very little having singular preferences, and that can help out. Um, to people not being able to show up, you can place players in different positions. Uh, NinjaBot wants us to uh, make a, a shout out to the country of Romania. Romania, a very uh, interesting pl place. Uh, quite a bit of political troubles at the moment. As we're speaking about Romania, Ball Street has made their 32nd overall pick, and that is going with Chaos. But Chaos wants to play, and, uh, is an offensive player from Canada. So, not American, but still, same thing. Um, very, very bad ping. Well, not very, very bad ping, but it's very, very. Say very, very. It's not the best, basically. There is a chance that you won't get as much out of him as you could have if he was playing in the American leagues. We're going to see who Ruff decides to go for. Only 10 players remaining now. Ruff is taking at 12 times. He wants to play both positions. Doesn't have a microphone, so he's struggling. And he's from Germany, potentially moving to US, so he actually might end up playing in the American Leagues after this season. Good ping. Be a good player. Who knows? We'll see as um, time goes on in the league. Potentially could be developed. Potentially could be cancer. But, you know, you don't know what you'll get with some players that you've never really seen before. How do you feel about uh, playing in a competitive league? See, I I don't know because um. Well, have you like done uh, Have you done esports before? I've done. Uh, I used to play. Playing like the champions, uh, seasons for um, Call of Duty. Yeah. Play that. Try hard, but uh, I've not done anything recently. Not really. I've not even been gaming as much, but this this is the first game in a very long while that's actually got me hooked. It's a very interesting game, and uh, there's a lot of uh, potential. And uh, it's, but it has got a good community. Yeah. I'll give it that. The, everyone that I've met so far, I've not met a single bad person, except some of the sunballs that think they're like top shit and say they're easy, despite being the bottom of the leaderboard. But and, you know, thirty fourth pick is a uh, wiener. wiener. Always right. great to have a wiener on your team. He's from the United States. Pick BDL. BDL goes to Turtle Cobras. Very obviously starting to develop some. Yeah, it's a pretty good community overall. We do like drama and uh, we like turtles and snakes and uh, all kinds of interesting mem creatures. Yeah, I'll rated three stars from the United States. So Jerry continuing his trend of having American players. European League. Jerry, you're a snake. Shout out to uh, Frost. Really a presence on the subreddit with his uh, 10 different uh, fake accounts. And there we go. Final two picks for AC Spartag is Curry and Fat. The draft packet one. Very rated three stars, hit American, and um, that. But United Kingdom only make one Sunday until the playoffs. Doesn't have a microphone, but is a five star player. It's always good to have a player that you can trust to play and put on a good performance. I think Fat has some restrictions, maybe. Uh, we'll see uh, how he can, he can only make one Sunday until the playoffs. But, but to remember, if you can get that far, actually provide a team with more um there's more of a chance to um push forward the team so but despite having restrictions is a very 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 good player yep don't Jer get a five star rating for no reason and you've got to be able to put up jerry gets ty jerry taking ty Thank you. 
with uh, four more players to go, uh, this uh, snake uh, draft is coming to an end. Hi, uh, Ty joining the Turtle Cobras. He plays both positions. He's from the United States. Yet another American player, Turtle Cobras. Jerry, pick a different country. God damn. Um, We're going to uh, see some uh, dominant. I feel uh, Sensei and uh, Balkanende, Jerry's team, however, very dominant. And some teams that, that need to work uh, quite a bit, I feel. Uh, however, like saying Ruffs. this, with Ty joining the Turtle Cobras, that could be a wasted space. Ty wasn't sure when he signed up if he wanted to commit to a full ELTP season. Okay. So there could be... That could be just a wasted space. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing. Well, that's the thing, though. It could be a bad thing, because if you start expecting something of him and he's not there, what are you going to do? You're going to have to start looking again. There we go. Balmer City has made their second last pick. They're taking Shandor. Shandor, if I can find his information. Shandor from Australia, very, very high pings, wants to play both positions, could be a good player, but you've got to kind of wait and see what you get. Plymouth Artile taking their second last player, Life, Life wants to play both positions, he's from Belgium, and he can only play on the weekend because of bad internet. Now that comes with your restrictions, however, that's why he's probably a later pick. He does have good ping when he does play on the weekend though. He wants to play more of an offensive uh, position. A lot more players are preferring offensive over defense, but there is a very, very small few that prefer defending. Jerry has added a couple more places, uh, so we're almost done. If the uh, captains would hurry up a bit. No, no, let's, let's not insult the captains. They've got a hard job of picking which players they want to have a strategy of how they want to play their team and how they want to develop players. They've got to have everything in mind when it comes to making that next pick. So they are, obviously they will have to take their time at points. Yeah, very true, but at this point it's practically a mixed bag of uh, what's left, you know. And with about eight picks left to go, Ball Street have taken up Substrate. Substrate from the United States wants to play defense and doesn't have a microphone. As you'd expect from an American coming over to the European leagues and the European servers, very, very high ping. See that as a re reoccurring um, issue with all American players. Except very, very few. DC yeah, sure. making their forty second and forty third picks. Picked up the magpie despite the magpie being banned. That's a bit of a wasted opportunity, is it not? Uh, uh, you know. I mean, pick him if you want. As I've said, uh, you know, it's really just uh, coming down to to those those guys. The last, that, the last scraps. Yeah. And also, that's been picked as uh, picked as the forty third pick into the snake draft. Wants to play more offensive than defensive. A very high rated player. But he's from the United States, and he wants to sign. And the only reason he signed up is um, there's no free agents, and he'll only play after the MLTP season is over. That could cause some issues if you start having to rely on players that are from America. Some of them will pr obviously prefer to play for MLTP. Uh, Swerve sort of being picked as well under uh, Veggie's uh, TC Balladero. And we are awaiting Ball Street's. Of it, each team will have eight picks in the snake draft final pick. Down to the very, very minimal amount of players left. Sensei also is turned, pick 44. Uh, Sensei has picked Duck. Doc from the United States wants to play both positions, doesn't have a microphone, and he loves donuts. So, you know, hey ho. However, his profile, if I can find. 
profile doesn't lead to anywhere, so we'll have to double check to make sure he knows what he's doing. Four picks remaining. You've got Plymouth Artile, Balmere City, Turkle Cobras, and AC Spartag. 45, 46, 47, and 48 all in the snake draft. As we wait rough to make his final pick in the snake draft, the teams are starting to come together, and you, the captains surely have to start having an idea of who they're going to play with who. And And let me for ourselves. Apologies if I botched this name. Is it Ganaise? I think so. It's pretty close. Ganaise or Ganaise. Ganaise wants to play an offensive position in France, but basically says he'll never show up. He just wants to sign up because he doesn't want to leave. Don't draft him. they gone and done the opposite rough. But fair Perfect. enough. If, if he does eventually show up, fair play. So we're basically down to uh, Boostbot, Oboro, and Ball Am. And maybe a Ball Am. Oh, yeah, Ball Am from Pit. It's just because it's still white in the thing. Cause of... Yeah. Which we're down to the been final been. three people Uber, Oboro, and Boostbot. Uber is joining Balmer City. Defensive player from the United States. Lives in California. Incredibly high ping. As a trend with um, America. Number uh, 47. Oboro, and that leaves us with what at 48. And Bass is Boston. Oboro might be shaky at times. Bats are shit, apparently. Boothbot um, is the last pick of the season. Or want to play it more offensive than defensive, but want to be more of a defensive player. Now you see the complete teams of AC Spartag having Selkie, Monte Cristo, Electro Ball, El Miracle, Ball I Am, B Hayward 2000, Tagnib, Brezuka, NM Ball, Curry, Fat, and Boostbot. Turtle Cobras, captained by Jerry, having Sunny, B, Bob Sagetti, Senitance, Fuzzy, Jinsing, Ball, uh, Blood Ninja, The Big Mac, The Offer Phoenix, BDL, Ty, and Oboro. Palmer City having Ronding, Alkias, Katize, Such a Nerd, Brandon Fraser, Bo, uh, Duke Do, Ruff, Squeeb, Wiener, Shander, and Goober. Plymouth Artel, captained by Ruff, having Ruff, Carol Can, Kodiak, THC, Troupe, Ego, Sun Banter, Muzza, Dave Roll, At 12 Times Life in Guinness. All Street, captained by Sensei Ose, having Dr. Pepper, Iki Kikin, Duke Mall, Sunny Mojo, Grab Machine, Frock, Nuga, Aaron, Dijon 99. Chaos, Substrate, and Duck, and TC, and by um, Vijay, I have no idea to pronounce your name, and I apologize. Uh, Vijay's Irish Jesus, Low J, Sweaty Pete, Wayne Gretzky, Bo, Q42, myself, Phoenix DB, uh, Kenny, SB Covila, Some Human, The Magpie, and Swerve. And that wraps up your season two draft. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I have been Phoenix DB, your commentator for this draft, and I would like to thank you all for welcoming me into your community. I hope to commentate on more events in the future and compete in more events in the future. Potentially try and commentate for the majors. Thank, I thank hope you have all enjoyed this draft. Thank you. Thank you for uh, commentary, uh, commentating Phoenix, and uh, we hope to see you around a lot more. And uh, thank, thank you, series, series for uh, for streaming the the uh, drafts. Uh, you're an invaluable part of the community. That's been... it for the NLP. Uh, NL. The NLTP draft. Uh, this For is season uh, two. Kodiak, and uh, we're signing off. Have Happy job, Kodiak, and Phoenix DB. Thanks very much.